In this video, we are going to discuss about dividing simple fractions and whole numbers by a fraction and vice versa. But before we proceed, let us recall first this very important concept that we will be applying as we go through with our lesson. Reciprocal A reciprocal or a multiplicative inverse is simply one of a pair of numbers that when we multiply together equals to 1. So to find the reciprocal of a whole number, for example, what is the reciprocal of 4? So we just turn it into a fraction in which the original number or 4 will become the denominator and for our numerator we will simply write 1. So the reciprocal of 4 is equal to 1 fourth. And if we want to verify if our answer is correct, so we are going to multiply 4 over 1 or 4 with its reciprocal which is 1 fourth. 4 over 1 times 1 fourth is equal to 4 fourths or simply 1. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, so we just transpose the numerator and the denominator. For example, what is the reciprocal of two-thirds? So when we say transpose, meaning we are going to change the position of our numbers. So our numerator, which is 2, will become the denominator. And our denominator, which is 3, will become now the numerator. So the reciprocal of 2 thirds is equal to 3 halves. And if we are going to verify, we simply multiply 2 thirds with its reciprocal, which is 3 halves. So 2 thirds times 3 halves is equal to 6 sixths or simply 1. Meaning to say, 3 halves is the reciprocal of 2 thirds or we can also say that 2 thirds is the reciprocal of 3 halves. For 15 seconds, let us try to get the reciprocal of the following. Let's see if you get a correct answer. What is the reciprocal of 1 fourth? So our denominator is 4, it will become the numerator and the numerator 1 will become the denominator. So that's equal to 4 over 1. For 3, that's, that is a whole number, so it will become the denominator and the numerator will be 1. So that's equal to 1 third. For 2, since that is a whole number, so 2 will become the denominator and our numerator is 1. So reciprocal of 2 is equal to 1 half. For number 4, the reciprocal of 2 thirds is equal to 3 halves. Number 5, reciprocal of 1 half is equal to 2 over 1. Number 6, reciprocal of 3 pips is equal to 5 thirds. For number 7, since it is a whole number, so 5 will become the denominator and the numerator is 1. For number 8, the reciprocal of 7 is equal to 1 over 7. I hope it is clear to you the concept about reciprocal. And now, let's go to our main topic, which is division of fraction. Let's take this example problem number one. Suppose you have one fourth of a cake and want to share it with a friend. What part of the whole cake will each of you receive? 
So in order to solve this problem, we can use a model to represent a k. So we are going to use bar to represent the whole k. And we are going to divide the k into four equal parts. So we have one, two, three, four, and take one part of it. So the shaded part represents the amount of cake that you have. Since you're going to share it with a friend, meaning to say there are two of you who are going to divide the piece or the part of a cake. So we are going to divide this part into two. And now, as you can see, we have, we already have how many parts in a whole? So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight parts, total parts in a whole. And the question is, what part is it? So that is equal to one eighth of the whole k. Therefore, each of you will receive one eighth of a k. We can also check if our answer makes sense by solving it using this equation. So, one fourth of a k divided by two. So now, we are going to divide a fraction by a whole number. So to divide a fraction by a whole number, simply copy the first fraction or the dividend. So that is one-fourth. Then change the operation from division, change to multiplication. So that is times. Then get the reciprocal of our divisor or the second fraction. So our divisor here is 2. And the reciprocal of 2 is equal to 1 half. And now our new equation is 1 fourth times 1 half. So we can proceed to multiplication. So to multiply fractions, simply multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So 1 times 1, that is equal to 1. And 4 times 2, that is equal to 8. So our answer is equal to 1 8. Example number 2, 3 fourths divided by 2. So let us visualize this problem using a bar. So this bar represents the whole. Then let's divide this whole into four equal parts vertically. So that's one, two, three, four. And shade three parts of it. So the shaded part represents three fourths of the whole. And we are going to divide it into two equal parts horizontally. Now, as you can see, we already have uh, we already have eight equal parts. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we are going to go back to our problem, if we divide three parts by two, what part will we get? So this part here is our answer and that is equal to 3 eighths. Therefore, 3 fourths divided by 2 is equal to 3 eighths. And let's try to solve if our answer is correct. So that's 3 fourths divided by 2 is equal or we are going to divide again a fraction by a whole number. So to divide a fraction by a whole number, first we are going to copy the dividend or the first fraction 
Next step, change the operation from division to multiplication. So that's equal to that's times. Lastly, get the reciprocal of our second fraction or the divisor. So reciprocal of 2 is equal to 1 half. And now our new equation is 3 fourths times 1 half. Since that's multiplication, so we can proceed to multiplication. Multiply the numerators and we can also multiply the denominators. So to simplify, 3 times 1, that is equal to 3, and 4 times 2, that is equal to 8. So our final answer is equal to 3 eighths. Let's have another example. Number 3, 4 divided by 2 thirds is equal to. So our equation is 4 divided by 2 thirds. So in this example, we are about to divide a whole number by a fraction. So to divide a whole number by a fraction, first you can change the whole number into a fraction by simply writing the whole number as the numerator and the denominator as 1. Next, again, change the operation from division into multiplication. So that's times. Next, get the reciprocal of our divisor or our second fraction. So the reciprocal of 2 thirds is equal to 3 halves. And our new equation now is 4 over 1 times 3 halves. Then we can proceed to multiplication by multiplying the numerators and multiplying the denominators. So to simplify, 4 times 3, that is equal to 12. And 1 times 2, that is equal to 2. 12 over 2, or simply 6. Therefore, 4 divided by 2 thirds is equal to 6. Let's have another example. 2 thirds divided by 1 half is equal to so in this example, we are about to divide a fraction by another fraction. So to divide a fraction by another fraction, first step, just copy the first fraction or the dividend. So copy two thirds. Then change the operation from division into multiplication. That's times. Next get the reciprocal of the divisor or the second fraction so the reciprocal of one half is equal to two over one now our new equation is two thirds times two over one and we can proceed to multiplication by simply multiplying the numerators and multiplying the denominators so to simplify, 2 times 2, that is equal to 4, and 3 times 1, that is equal to 3. So the answer is 4 thirds or 1 and 1 third. So therefore, if we are going to divide 2 thirds by 1 half, we will get 1 and 1 third. And that's it. So for today, I hope you've learned how to divide fractions. Just simply copy the first fraction, change the operation to multiplication, then get the reciprocal of the second fraction, and lastly, proceed to multiplication. And don't forget to reduce your answer to the lowest term if possible.